Hi guys, as content creators, we have to be really careful about using any music in our videos, obviously due to any potential copyright issues. So when Wondershare Femora um, introduced a new feature to generate some AI music, I was immediately interested. So this is a brand new feature available in Wondershare Femora 13.64. But um, is it just a gimmick or is it actually any good? Well, in this video, I'm going to give it a test and I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how to use the AI music generator feature in Wondershare Femora 13.64. Okay, so I've brought in this video clip here and I've got a bit of voiceover and they've already got the video. I'm just going to play it just a few seconds. One of the easiest shots to do as a beginner and a true classic shot. Okay, so I'm t talking about various uh, gimbal techniques. Now I want to be able to bring some music in as, as a background just for this video. Now yes, I could go off to a various stock sites and stuff like that and try and find some suitable music. But first of all, I have to kind of worry about copyright issues and you know, trying to find suitable music and all that sort of stuff. And really, uh, you know, I just don't really have the time or the patience for that. So the new AI music feature built into Wondershare Filmora is a real godsend for me. So let me show you how it works. All right, so we need to go to the audio tab right at the very top here, audio, quite log logically enough. And then we're gonna be looking for where it says AI music. Now I'm gonna click on that guy and I have sort of already been playing a bit. I've got a number of tracks that I've already kind of uh, generated and, and, and keep. Now, to actually generate some AI music, what we need to do is we need to select some tags to basically set the mood. So I've already got like happy selected. Now, if I just uh, um, undo that, I'm just going to hit the plus button here. We can see we can choose between a mood, a theme and a genre. So let's say, for example, we we're looking for mood. Uh, we can choose from a number of different types of mood, like happy, sad, epic, sentimental, blah, 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 and that sort of stuff. Then we can go to theme and we can choose uh, various uh, music for various things like vlogs, for example, very useful, travel, um, you know, things like sports and all that sort of stuff. Um, for me, I generally would choose something like technology or tutorials. And if they don't seem very suitable, then I just basically try other uh, themes to see which one I like. And then we can also choose genre as well. So pop, uh, beats, funk and all sorts of cool stuff like that. Now you don't have to actually have all the three different um, uh, tags well. You could just have mood, for example, or you could just have theme, or you could just have genre. So let's say, for example, that I'm going to choose, I don't know, maybe like, uh, let's go for uh, tech, let's go for tutorials, and maybe technology, or we can't actually choose more than one, so just choose, um, let's say, tutorials. Um, but you can choose a mood as well, so I'm going to choose, I don't know, maybe, uh, let's go for um, happy, a happy tutorial makes sense to me uh, and then you're pretty much good to go now you can actually choose where it says settings uh, there is a number of options like the tempo low normal and high you can set the uh, music gen music duration which uh, is actually very handy so for example you've got a video clip that's exactly like one and a half um, minutes long you can actually get the music to uh, generate one and a half minutes worth of music now I have noticed in my experimentations that the music just seems to kind of stop. Um, it doesn't sort of come to a natural um, ending like you would have when the music is actually made by uh, humans. It just kind of just cuts out. Um, so you may find as, as a tip that you actually want to select a few more seconds in a duration, maybe like one uh, minute 40 seconds or maybe one, uh, one minute 50 seconds, maybe 20 seconds more just so that allows you to find a natural pause in the music yourself rather than just having it truncated. Um, unless you want it truncated, of course, but I don't. Uh, then you can go to generated music count um, and you can choose the number of tracks it's going to generate. So between, uh, let's say three is the default, you can choose up to say six. So I'm just gonna choose three. And then you just simply press the generate button and that should go off and do its thing and you'll see some sort of gray bars appearing as it thinks about it and starts composing music and it should then come back with some a number of ai generated music in just a moment now you can find that um, once you actually start, it's done its thing you can want to obviously download it because once you press the generate button again that music that's been generated is like a once off it's kind of like custom just for you it's like exclusive just for your track so if you like it, then make sure you download it, and then you can use it again and again on other projects. Uh, if you don't like it, obviously just, yeah, bye-bye, you can just get rid of it. And you can just press the generate button as many times as you like if you've got the credits to do so. 
uh, until you find one that's actually suitable for yourself. So I'm just going to play some of the ones it's come up with. I think it's going to come up with a number of these. Um, let's say happy tutorials and see what you think. <laughs> Well, and you know, at the beginning I wasn't totally sure about that, but as the kind of beat came in, I actually thought that's it's pretty cool actually. Um, I maybe won't use the the beginning of it, but maybe I use the middle or something, or something like that. Now, um, if you do like it, then don't forget to actually click the, uh, the little down arrow, like I'm just about to do, to make sure it actually saves it. Whoops. Stop playing. Uh, then make sure it actually saves it to your favourites. You can you can use it again when you go to AI Music. That's very important. Otherwise, it's gone forever. Um, let's just try the other one. Yeah, to me personally, that's kind of very, you know, okay. Um, you know, I'm not sure I'm a particular fan of that one, so I'm just going to go on to the next one. That's a definite no-no, not from my style. Now, if you don't like it, you can just simply just um, press the generate button again. It's going to come up another set of three or whatever which one you set to. Or you can experiment around with the, the tags, so you can just choose different um, moods. Maybe not tutorials, maybe like beats or funk or whatever it is, or uh, vlogs. And just you keep playing around with it until you find something that's suitable. Now, once you've actually got something that's suitable, you can just simply um, just drag it onto your actual timeline, like I've just done here. Uh, just bring it to wherever you want to do it, as you would normally, and we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna set the volume to something a bit more appropriate, so it's not drowning me out. Find a subject to reveal in the background, and something in the foreground to block the view. Okay, so the music's a bit too loud, but do you get the idea? All right, so that's pretty much how you can use the AI generated music in Wondershare for more. As I said, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the music it comes up with. It's perfectly acceptable for things like for background music for, for my sort of videos. All right, guys, guys I hope you that find the videos useful. And of course, if it is, there's a whole load of a, a playlist for you to uh, check out more videos on Wondershare for Mora. And also, there's a couple of other extra videos here you can watch on the uh, various other AI generated features on Wondershare for Mora. Other right, guys, don't forget to hit the big fat red subscribe button, subscribe button as always. And I shall see you soon on another video. Take care.